Hello guys. So today I'm going to launch into talking about skincare for you. Um, before I dive into our counter match and counter control lines, I'm going to be talking a little bit about identifying your skin type. And so you're going to hear me talk a lot about dry skin, oily skin, combination skin. And what I found over the last five years of becoming a, uh, being a beauty counter consultant is that a lot of times people misidentify their skin type. And that's a problem because if you don't correctly identify your skin type, then you're not going to be able to correctly choose the products that are the best fit for your skin. And especially as we are going from summertime into fall, you might find that you need to reevaluate your skin type and what works for you. And so that's where taking an inventory and maybe it's even seasonal or if there's hormonal changes, like I've cut down on the number of breastfeeding sessions I've had, I've noticed that my skin type has been um, a, like changing just a little bit. So evaluating every so often as well, because that is something that can change based on weather, hormones, etc. So the best way to identify your skin type is right in the morning, wash your face with just like a basic cleanser and then take inventory of how does your skin feel? Um, those who have truly oily skin, their skin will feel very, um, like right away, they'll have a little bit of shine. They'll feel, you know, supple. Their skin won't feel dry at all. It will almost start to look shiny right away. My husband has truly oily skin and it's right away. So oily skin is not as the day goes on, my skin starts to look a bit shiny. Everybody's skin does that over the course of the day, or at least most people. Um, so just because your skin might look shiny towards the end of the day does not mean you have oily skin. It's really best to take inventory in the morning. Um, if you wash your face and your face doesn't feel doesn't look shiny, doesn't feel greasy, but it feels just good and pretty normal, then you likely have normal slash combo skin. And then if you wash your face and right afterwards your face feels tight and it feels dry and it is begging for you to put lotion on, then you have dry skin. So keep that in mind as I'm talking about these different skincare lines. Um, so first up, I'm gonna talk about counter control. And so this is for those Hear me out, this is for those with oily skin. Um, there are a couple items you can use from this line that might be good for skin types, other skin types, but really this is for oily skin, and then it's great for oily and acne prone skin. But um, those who don't have oily skin, you might pick and choose an item or two to treat acne, but using the full line would likely be too drying. So. Um, the first item in this line is the clear pore cleanser. I love this cleanser. This is one that I could say almost everybody could add into their skincare arsenal and use it. Some people with oily skin can use it daily. It has those exfoliating beads. It has this wintergreen freshness. It smells great. Um, those with less oily skin or dry skin might just want to be using it a couple times a week or worked in. Sometimes I'll do a little squirt of this can put with another cleanser and make it into an exfoliating cleanser. So I love that. The next step is the prep step. So in the counter control line, the prep step is this matte toner. Um, it's much more of a traditional toner. It leaves your skin feeling a little bit tight. It feels, you know, it's more of an astringent type of toner that you might be familiar with. It's great for those oily skin types because it's going to absorb that oil right away. Um, next up, the treat step in this line is um, the all over acne treatment. And like I said, this is an acne specific line. If you don't have acne, but you have oily skin, you might not need this product, um, but it's designed to be used on those areas that you might struggle. You could use it all over your face if you have acne all over. If you just have acne in certain areas, you could just put it wherever those areas are. And then once that dries, the Matte Effect Gel Cream. So this is great for those who want a little bit of hydration. All skin, even oily skin, needs hydration. However, you need to pick and choose what kind of hydration you use. So this Matte Gel Cream is awesome. It leaves your skin with like sort of this mattify type of finish, um, but it still gives it a little bit of hydration. And then finally in this line, there is the SOS Spot Treatment. So that is something, again, I think everybody can have this in their skincare bag um, because it treats, you know, the breakup breakouts that pop up. And I think we all have those occasionally, but that's more of like an active treatment product for skin as you have a breakout arise. Um, if you're thinking, okay, my skin is not oily, it's not acne prone, um, what else do you have for me? I'm going to be talking about our counter timeline um, tomorrow, but today I'm going to talk about counter match. So this is good for those who have dry skin, those who have sensitive skin, dry and sensitive skin, um, and it doesn't have to be sensitive, but it really is suitable for sensitive skin types. Um, it is 
it uses our adaptive moisture technology, which means it adapts to your skin's unique moisture needs. It gives your skin the moisture it needs, but not the moisture, you know, it's not an excess. Um, I really, really do love this line. I think it's, it smells great. It looks great. works great. Um, the cleanser in this is the Refresh Foaming Cleanser. And so this is uh, if you've used like the Neutrogena Fresh Foaming Cleanser, this would be comparable. It's it's a water-based cleanser. It's, it leaves your skin feeling super clean. It rinses clean. It has a great little sudsy foam. Um, so I love that cleanser. Um, followed up with the toner in this line, which is this Hydrogel Radiance Toner. So it's not an astringent toner like the Counter Control line. It is hydrating. It's soothing. Um, it it just helps your skin lock in that moisture, feel really great. And then the prep, the treat step in this line is this intense moisture serum. So really countermatch designed, you know, focused on a little bit of anti-aging, but a lot of hydration, a lot of soothing. Um, so again, that serum step. And then you will follow up with either a day or night cream. And in this line, my favorite, favorite moisturizer of all time from Beauty Counter is the Adaptive Moisture Lotion from Counter Time. This is, if you're just looking, you're not sure where to start, you need an awesome all-purpose moisturizer, Adaptive Moisture Lotion is, is it. I love this product. So many other people love it. It's a bestseller for a reason. Um, so that's great. Daytime moisturizer. You could use it at nighttime if you want a lightweight moisturizer. And then the Recovery Sleeping Cream in this line, which again is another favorite of mine. It's good because the difference between a day and a night cream, the day cream and night cream have different properties. Um, the night cream is focused on like skin repair as you sleep. And so it tends to be a little more hydrating, most night creams. And then it's focused on helping your skin repair from all the stressors of the day, etc. Um, this night cream is awesome. It's not heavy. It's not going to weigh your skin down, um, but it leaves it feeling really great. And then the countermatch eye cream, um, which is best for those who are struggling with dark circles. Um, and it's awesome for those with sensitive skin who maybe can't use other eye creams. This one is likely going to be a good fit for you and gentle enough for even sensitive skin. So I hope that gives you an overview of our counter match and our counter control lines. And tomorrow I'll be on to talk about counter time.